So Zerkezi and Morgenholt are the only two people who ever saw those algorithms. And Morgenholt is dead. And Zerkezi is connected to a mystery guest we know nothing about. Dvorak. Morgenholt and Zerkezi are geeks, not terrorists. Maybe this Dvorak is some kind of puppeteer. No hitter, bottom of the eighth. 2 0, New York in the eighth. The Kiri Watanabe is on the mound. He's pure concentration, pure focus. This is no coincidence. You're on your way to the Big Apple. Bruce Morgenholt and Abrahim Zakezi were partnered together on Project Watson, the UN committee that cracked the mass kernels. They're the ones who discovered 512 encryption, the same encryption used in the messages you recovered at MCAS Bank. If this so-called Dvorak person has somehow gotten his hands on mass-based IW algos, we're in a world of hurt. I've been trying to penetrate Zerkezi's private network since we connected him to this mess. I've seen some tough network security before, and I expected Zerkezi to have top-of-the-line tech, but this is crazy. Zerkezi's server isn't just impenetrable or invisible. It's like, it's like looking for a shadow in a pitch-black room. It's driving me crazy. Things are turning sour in New York. It's been 24 hours since the blackout, and no one has a clue when it might end. We've got sporadic reports of unrest all over Manhattan, but it hasn't started to spill over yet. Word coming down from above is that the National Guard will be deployed within the hour. We'll need to insert you into an alley behind a building adjacent to the target building. Watch out for civilians. Fisher, the National Guard was deployed into Manhattan about an hour ago. I feel safer already. Watch your fire, Sam. Those boys aren't expecting to see you and they'll attack on sight. Do not, I repeat, do not kill any of them. I'll be careful. Good. You have enough light down here? I think so. These barricade lights are battery operated, so they should be okay. I have flares too if I need them. All right. Then we'll concentrate on getting power to the CP before we break out to the perimeter. Sounds good. Stupid damn thing is broken! Show yourself! I can hear you moving around!
Fisher, looks like the National Guard are trying to restore the power to the building's elevator. That's probably your best way to the top. I'll see if I can hitch a ride. It'll be a long climb if you don't. What's the status on that elevator? I'll have it running in a sec. We'll speed it up. We need to get some... I'm going as fast as I can. I'm not going to hurt you. Who, who are you? Wait a minute. I, is this a training exercise? Damn. Support. This guy knows it's an exercise. Who let the cat out of the bag? Huh. I knew it. Roger that. Yeah. Okay. Give me a hand here, pal. Just play along. Name, rank, and number. Corporal Stan Donlin. 24-28-996. And you're not going to tell me anything else? No, sir. Good boy. All right, want me to move on to the next one? Yeah. Roger. Huh? Okay, I'll ask. Command wants to know how many are on the roof. Two on the roof, sir. Two more inbound in a chopper. Thanks. Dismissed. Well, am I dismissed or... Right? Yeah. 
But this guy over here, all his lights are on. How can that be? Well, the richer you get, the more paranoid you get. The guy probably has his own generator so he can keep his security system running. Security system? Who's gonna climb 15 floors to break into his apartment? Like I said, paranoid. shows you breached the Casey's building. The county clerk's office has construction permits on file for the floors below the pen. Any plans or blueprints on file? I'll have Grimm look into it, but with this blackout. I understand. I'll see if I can dig up some plans down here. Good idea. gun if I've ever seen one. He's no night watchman either. He's a merc. He's got the same kid as the guys who were protecting the Serta. This whole situation is getting uglier by the second. See if you can find out who these characters work for. Will do. What are you doing down here? Ah, who the hell? Off to a bad start. Talk or die. Ah, okay. We're on VIP protection. This floor. Uh, we need to secure it because we can't lock it off from the penthouse. Does the architect or engineer keep an office or a desk down here? Yeah, of course. West side of the building. Since you're doing so well, why don't you tell me the name of the PMC you work for? I... Uh, I work for Displace. Displace International. If you're gonna kill me, do it. Displace? That's Doug Shetland's company. I know. Fisher, if Shetland turns out to be crooked... If Shetland is crooked, I'll take him down myself. But I have a feeling there's more to it than that. Could be. See if you can find out who's in charge of this protection detail. Maybe someone inside this place is playing both sides. You got it.
Did I just see something? Like my new knife? Oh, God! I've been using it quite a bit. Is it still sharp? Real sharp? Maybe you better tell me something interesting before I get all distracted and slip. Medical supplies. You'll probably want some medical supplies. In the washroom, beside the kitchen. I was gonna resign next week. Permits, architectural plans. Interesting. Zerkezi has a hardened panic room off of his bedroom. I'll check it out. Looks like he also filed plans for construction in the next building over. The next building? I'm no architect, but if I'm reading these plans right, both buildings are connected across a rooftop. I'll leave the relevant data on your offset. Should help you navigate. Thanks. Fisher, Zerkezi's cameras project an infrared beam so they can see in the dark. If it's an infrared beam, I can see it in my night vision. Exactly. And listen, it would help us keep tabs on Zerkezi if we could use these cameras against him. Gotcha. I'll try and run some tabs. Zerkezi has these doors mag-locked on a remote switch. You'll need to find the computer that controls the magnetic lock. Where would I find that? It's probably in that panic room he keeps hidden behind his bedroom.
What was that? Good work, Fisher. That's one camera tapped. There should be five more. I'll keep my eyes open. According to this, he's in the building next door. You can get there across the rooftop through the magnetically locked doors. How do I get through the doors? They're not magnetically locked anymore. Thanks for the help. good we do what he says yes yes well he sure treats us well now you know too now you work for him do what he says yes well certainly worth my while now isn't it more than worth your while gonna keep you alive man. hey who, who killed the lights this isn't good I'm allergic to flowers. Maybe you should talk before I sneeze and accidentally cut your throat. Oh, 
God. I'll tell you anything. Good. Start with your boss. What's his name? Medich. Mylon Medich. He's in charge of all our VIP protection contracts. And how many of those under his protection has he killed in the last, say, six weeks? What? What kind of scam is he running? I, I, I don't know about any scam. I swear! Don't hurt me! Mylon Nedich. Echelon's got nothing. He doesn't even exist. Hmm. Well, whoever he is, he's playing both sides. We need to inform Shetland. No can do, Sam. We can't compromise OPSEC for private interests. Fine. But if I find Nedich, it'll be less of a problem. Admirable of you to protect your friend, but... You said he doesn't exist. I'm just correcting a bureaucratic error. Good work, Fisher. That's four of six cameras tapped. I'll keep an eye out for the other two.
Nice place you got here. Decorate it yourself. Uh, uh, who, who are you? The landlord. Rent's overdue. Uh, what do you want? Where can I find Dvorak? I, I don't know any Dvorak. If you mean Zerkezi, uh, he's gone. Uh, I'll do what... You must be Dvorak. Yeah, uh, well, Dvorak, huh? I had thought this area was, well, uh, off limits. You're not Dvorak. Well, um, since we're being blunt, well, no. Then who are you? Such a rush you're in. Hmm, fancy some tea, do you? Lambert, something weird is happening. I'll say. What do I do? The old man seems harmless. Indulge him. See if he knows anything. Reminds me of poor old Jiggers. <laughs> oh, Jiggers. We hardly know ye. Who are you? What are you doing here? Oh, well, one might ask you the same. I'm looking for a man named Dvorak. Ah, Dvorak, yes! <laughs> well, you're not going to find one. <laughs> this way! Ah, <laughs> yes! Here we are, then! This is Dvorak. Jesus. I think I just figured out why you couldn't hack in here, Grim. Uh, yeah, no kidding. What the hell do I do now? Uh, hold on while I find a slide rule. See what the old man knows, Fisher. Okay. If this is Dvorak, who are you? Um, I am Dvorak's keeper. Thank you most kindly for asking. And what is this? This... Dvorak. Dvorak is, well, you likely wouldn't understand. I'm sure you're right. But let's have it for the record anyway. Dvorak is a mechanical representation of a self-referential axiom of number theory. Dvorak encodes its own logical structure within its own executable cycle and recursively derives a more accurate representation of itself with each successive execution. Right. Grim, did you get that? My god, it's an infinite state machine. Fine. What do I do? If Sir Casey is using this... Grim. Sorry, uh, Sam, we're gonna need a copy of Dvorak's output so we can work out the algorithm it's built on. How do I get its output? It runs on punch cards. Punch cards? You'll need to restart the sequence and initialize each tower in the right order, and then retrieve the output stack. How do I know the right sequence? You'll need to hit the switches in order as the tubes start to heat up. Ask the old man for help. I need your help. Indeed. What can I help you with, my good fellow? I need you to help me initialize Dvorak so I can retrieve an output stack. Ah, Dvorak. Well, that is certainly something I can help with. <laughs> Why don't you restart it? I'll initialize the towers on this side, <laughs> and you can do the other side.
you go. Mm -hmm. Your output stack should be ready. Mm -hmm. All right, I got the stack. Good work, Fisher. Time to make yourself scarce. Get to your primary extraction point. On my way. Eventually, Dvorak will derive the answer. But eventually is a very long time. What was that I just heard? <laughs> 